Hey everybody, this is James from Alpha Shark Trading here to talk to you guys about one of the most useful tricks that you can use equity options for, even if you're not an equity options trader. So we all have ways of picking price targets. Anytime someone buys or sells a stock, buys or sells an options contract, they have a price target in mind for the underlying, right? They have some type of view, whether it's a lack of movement, whether it's an upside move, a downside move, whatever. <clears throat> the point is, they're using some method, technical, fundamental, to figure out where they think the stock can go. Now for me, this has nothing to do with charts. It all has to do with the prices of equity options in real time as they trade. So even if you're not an equity options trader, you can use this method that I'm about to show you to calculate where market makers and the general market are expecting an underlying stock to move by a given expiration. So here I have the options chain in the SPY, and you can see I have all the expiries here this week. <clears throat> all of the weeklies, the serials, the minis. So all I need to do to figure out where I'm going to place a target at or where I have an expectation for a stock to move by a certain time is look at the options market in that expiration. So let's say I wanted to get an idea of where I think the SPY can move by tomorrow. Well, I'd look at the options that expire in tomorrow's expiration. You see these are one day away. And I would look at the price of the at the money straddle. At 208.86, I want to look at the 209 straddles. Those are the closest to the money. And what do we see? They're trading at $1.30. So what that tells me is that by tomorrow's expiration, market makers and market participants in general who are buying and selling options right now are expecting the SPY to be higher or lower by $1.29. Now that's by tomorrow's expiration. I can use this trick or this method to calculate any time frame that I want. So let's say I want to know where uh, they're expecting the SPY to be in December, 30 days from now. I can do the same thing. Looking at the 209 straddle, I can see that they're implying around a $7.10 move by the December expiration of these options, so that's higher or lower. So to calculate the targets that I would then use to set up a trade, I would add the price of this move to the strike price and subtract it from the strike price to get an upside or downside target. And this is one of the most useful things that you can use equity options for, even if you're not going to actually trade the underlying option. This is how I pick targets, this is how I measure out my expectations, and it's one of the most useful things that equity options can provide a retail trader, and it's really, really easy to figure out. And I can figure out not <clears throat> figure it out not only in stock, in ETFs, but in any future that has options as well. So if I want to look at the ES uh, E mini 500 or S and P 500 futures, I can do that because they have options as well. I can do this in crude if I want because they have options as well. Very useful, very powerful, and something that you should start looking at if you're not already. Thank you guys very much, and have a fantastic day trading. As always, happy trading, everybody.